We're just minutes away from the 1984 Breeders' Crown here at the Mohawk Raceway. And the favorite at the moment, a one to nine favorite, Davidia Hanover. Unbeaten 11 starts this year and may be one of the outstanding fillies in this particular division. The other drivers don't feel it'll be a one-horse race as they feel they've got enough horse to win this race as well in Canada. Nobody is putting up the kind of money that was put up tonight to race in the Breeders' Crown unless they thought they had a good chance to get a piece of it. So I think a lot of horses are coming into this race in really good form. I would probably say the entry and Howard Bisinger's horse would be the, the probable horses to beat. I don't expect an uh, exceptionally fast pace, no. Uh, there's some, and they're capable of doing it, but I don't expect them to to go the first half too, too fast. Uh, the if they get down there in a minute or 1-1, one, one, I think it'll be about right. Uh, well, the track condition is good, and uh, it's not really too cold tonight, so I think they'll trot pretty good And uh, with that filly being the kind of filly is. And in fact, I don't even know what the two-year-old uh, filly trotting uh, track record is here, but I think she's capable of maybe breaking that if, you know, under right conditions. Well, one of the gentlemen with an outstanding chance of maybe winning is Jan Janssen, who brings three of his horses in as an entry, one 1A one and 1B, one and Kenny Rice had a good talk to him about what his chances are in this one tonight. John Johnson is training three of the horses in this race. He's driving Tova Lobel, and he has Harmony Broline. A lot of people like Harmony Broline. She raced well in Lexington, two real good races coming into this race. How does she look against Davidia Hanover? Uh, she's a very nice filly, and she's been winning over 200,000 this year. And... Uh, she taught two good miles down in Lexington, and she's uh, very sound, and everything is fine. So she raced up here about three weeks ago. She finished second in the Champlain Stake, and so she likes the track. She needs a little more luck because Davide Hanover, she's a really good filly. How do you see the race shaping up? You have an excellent driver in Bert Lindstedt. You teamed up and won with Workaholic in Lexington on Friday. Do you see this being a race that is going to come down to a close finish? Uh, it depends, you know, if, if Davida gets on top and she can control the speed, you know, it's going to be very tough. Someone has, has to get, get after her early, you know. Which horse do you see getting after her early? I uh, hope none of us. <laughs> How about this track, going from a 5 eighths of a mile track? Does that have any effect on, on Harmony Broline coming from the mile in Lexington to the 5 eighths? Because she has raced here earlier on 5 eighths. No, uh, she they won't bother her at all. But she's been racing in, in Pennsylvania Osiris Stakes on 5 eighths, and she raced good here. So they won't bother her. How good is Davidia Hanover? A lot of people are talking about her, John, being the horse to beat. She is undefeated in 11 races. Nah, she's awful good. The track right now, is it in good shape? Yes, yeah, very good, very good. What kind of time do you think we may have tonight? Round two on. If it's that way, that sets things up, you think, for Harmony Broline? I hope so. Good luck tonight. Thank you, John Johnson. Well, good conversation there with Jan Janssen. Once again, Davidia Hanover, Sharon, is once again the uh, heavy favorite here to win this one tonight.